Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vince and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite audio related features in Premiere Pro to take your video editing from beginner to professional. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first feature, which is a huge lifesaver in my opinion, is audio syncing. So if you ever record, you know, like an interview or something where you have two separate audio clips, uh, one from, you know, just a camera and maybe you're recording something else from an external microphone like this one, then then instead of you having to find exactly like where these uh, two clips line up and you know having to spend a bunch of time like finding the same you know spots for all the different clips what you can just do is you know import uh, both of your files on the timeline so as you can see I have these two um, clips right here and then all you have to do is select the, the two clips that you are trying to you know um, sync the audio of and then basically right click and after that you go into synchronize and then you want to make sure that the audio is selected, uh, have track, uh, track channel one uh, selected, and uh, then it's going to basically sync the uh, second audio, which is on channel two to, sec uh, to uh, audio channel one. So as you can see, now both of the audio tracks are uh, perfectly synced and this took me basically like 10 seconds to do instead of having to spend probably like minutes trying to perfectly line the two up now my second tip is to make your cuts when you are editing to music that has a beat one frame before the beat actually drops now in my opinion this just creates like a more fluent kind of viewing experience and if you are actually cutting like right at the, the frame where the beat hits, it feels a bit delayed in my opinion. And this is something that I was actually taught when I was like 14 years old, going to a video uh, kind of like camp. It was like, a, you know, like a summer camp. And ever since then, I've just been, you know, doing this practice. And in my opinion, like uh, this is actually like a way better way to add it to music than if you are cutting exactly at the frame. So now I'm gonna show you two clips, one of them, which was cut exactly when the beat drops and one, which is, you know cut one frame before the beat drops in my opinion um the one where you cut one frame before the beat drops looks a bit better but um you know you be the judge of that but this is a tip that i recommend everyone to start implementing to get smoother looking at it Now the next amazing way to add some extra flair to your videos, and this is gonna make a huge difference, is to use sound effects and songs, right? Uh, now what I mean by that is, if you just add um, some subtle sound effects to your um, videos, and maybe, you know, if you're shooting like an ocean, you add some wave sounds and some bird sounds, it's gonna totally transform your footage. So let's take a look at this example. Now you can see just how big of a difference it makes to add some proper sound effects to your videos and also a song that really matches the mood that you are going for. Now if you're looking for a place to find all your sound effects and music without having to worry about copyright issues or getting flagged on your videos, Epidemic Sound might just be the right option for you. So I have been using their service for over four years at this point. Basically Epidemic Sound allows you to save a bunch of money by paying a low monthly fee for an unlimited amount of song downloads and uh, sound effects. And instead of you having to, you know, license them one by one, potentially even costing you thousands of dollars, you can just pay a monthly subscription and any, none of your videos are going to get flagged if you use their music. They have a humongous library of amazing quality music and sound effects. And basically you're gonna be able to find the exact kind of song or sound effect that you are looking for because it's all neatly organized into different moods and albums. One of my favorite features about them is the stem downloads where 
you can actually download the separate layers of the songs, uh, allowing you to get some extra creative freedom. You're gonna be able to find exactly what you're looking for when you are doing some sound design for your videos. They are actually offering a free 30 day trial for anyone who signs up with the link in the description below. So if you're interested in it, then go ahead and check it out. You can try it out for 30 days, no strings attached. Uh, you can use their songs and their sound effects in that trial period. And even if you decide not to go for the pl paid plan afterwards, you can still, you know, keep your videos up. They are not going to get copyrighted or flagged. So there is basically zero risk involved on your side. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And Epidemic, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the tips. So with this next tip, you are going to be able to change the volume of the background music maybe that you have in one of your videos a lot quicker than if you were to, you know, cut up the music into 100 different pieces and change the volume of each one. So to do this, all you need to do is basically, you know, um, click command or control on your keyboard, go down here to where this line is uh, at your audio kind of like um, channel. And if you don't see the audio uh, channel this big, then you can just, you know, click here with your mouse, hold it, and then you can change the size of it. So you want to make sure it's nice and big so you can see it. And maybe in this part where I'm talking here in the beginning, I want to make sure that my audio is a bit more quiet. So I can just hold um, command or control on your keyboard if you're on Windows and then click at a point where you want to add a keyframe to your song. And then um, you want to go to another part where you want to make it more uh, loud. So maybe I'm going to go here. I want it to get louder here. And there I can actually, um, now I can actually go and drag, for example, the first keyframe and lower it here. So as you can see, now it's like low, background music at this part and then it's going to go into a bit louder here and I can also change the volume of it uh, on the second part uh, by just dragging that down and I can add as many of these keyframes as I want by simply holding down command or control um, on your keyboard adding a new point to wherever you want to and you can change the volume of um, your song however you want to now for example if you are editing you know a youtube vlog and maybe you have some cinematic parts where you want the music to be louder and some different parts where you are talking and you want it to be quieter adding these keyframes uh, and just changing the volume that way is so much faster than having to cut up the audio into you know different pieces and then changing the levels every single time so um i hope you guys are gonna be able to you know have some good use out of this tip because when i learned this like it definitely saved me a ton of time and i regret not learning this earlier speaking about background music another cool effect that i like to use a lot in my videos is to have this kind of like muffled sound effect added to my background music so you know a lot of times when you add some background music to your videos it can be a bit distracting right like maybe you have a lot of high notes in there and um, it's just kind of like annoying for the viewer so uh, a lot of times if you add this uh, low pass filter to your um, to your sound or your music it's gonna make it a lot uh, more pleasant to kind of listen to it but you still have some background music there right um, so to get that all you need to do is go to your effects uh, tab go to low pass and apply this filter to your um, background music and then basically you have created this more like muffled um, audio effect which is you know very simple to do and uh, if you you can also kind of like change the level of the muffle by uh, playing around with this cutoff point right here. So if you want it to be like more muffled, I believe you make it lower. Um, yeah, exactly. And if you want to make it less muffled, then you make the cutoff point a higher frequency. Now, one of my favorite things to do when I get to the end of an edit, like let's say I'm making a cinematic edit, you know, uh, uh, in a vlog or, or even just a cinematic edit on its own, Maybe I finish it, but then my song is still like go would go on for like one minute longer. You know what most people do in this case is they just go ahead and fade out the the music, which is fine. Like it usually it doesn't sound that bad, but people can really tell that you know <laughs> you basically were a bit lazy with it and like your edit just wasn't as long as the as the song or it just looks a little bit amateurish sometimes you know i'm not saying you always have to go above and beyond but you know if you want to level that up a bit and step it up a notch one thing you can do is edit your song in a way where you cut out cut out like a middle part and you take the ending of a song and paste it at the end and kind of like fade out the two songs and that is going to make it like 
seem a lot more professional because usually with songs the endings have a very clear indication that it's the end maybe it's if it's like a song that has drums and everything um you know it's slowly like uh, starts getting like broken down into less layers or or some of the maybe the bass you know fades out from the song so usually the songs just have like nicer endings than if you were to you know fade it out at the middle so if you just take like the middle part cut cut some of it out and you paste the end of a song uh, there and you fade the two together it's gonna sound a lot better and look a lot more professional now i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more um audio editing tutorials as well let me know in the comment section down below i hope you enjoyed it and took some stuff from it that you can apply in your everyday editing workflow thank you so much epidemic for sponsoring the video go ahead and check them out in the description below to make your edits even better and uh, thank you so much for watching again and i will see you guys in the next one bye